I'm, uh, as, as uh, Phil said, I'm the co-founder of Notify. And, and I'm super excited to be standing here, uh, especially uh, right now today, because uh, both Matt and I have an agency background. So Matt was the CTO of the largest web agency in Spain, and they built hundreds of websites a week. So I had a big machine around that. And, uh, and I spent my entire career in agency. So I spent 14 years, and I was both chief digital officer and CEO, and dealt with everything from overseeing la the production of landing pages to sort of the overall digital strategy of the Walmarts in Northern Europe. And, um, and we were both really excited about the potential of the Jamstack before it was, it was called that, right? Be and, and, and what it really sort of, first, the first challenge was, was that it showed me that what I thought was the premise of doing business online actually had a root cause in a large part, and there was something we could do about it, right? So when we talk about the legacy web, it's actually super simple. It's the fact that 20 years ago, we stopped making websites, we started building applications instead, something that would run on the server and build for every visitor. And it was really awesome, right? Because if you left a comment, someone else came in five seconds later, they could read that comment, right? And, um, and if you wanted to, to uh, and that was because I was building a concurrent version of the website, right, every time. And, and so um, if you wanted to build a payment gateway, that's what you do, right? Um, and you host it on your web server. But today, that changed, right? I mean, that when we started, that would be outright masochistic. It's two lines of JavaScript and you connect to Stripe and the, or PayPal or whatever, right? And the real question is, why would you ever want to do anything else, right? So, so it basically what had happened was the API economy. And all of a sudden, these large monolithic web applications hadn't really changed along with, with the rest of everything, right? And so they had become redundant. Uh, and that would have been a curiosity at best. But there was also really big challenges around performance and security and scalability. I think for performance, the best example is probably when mobile apps came out. They were supposed to be web apps, right? We found out that having to fetch the UI every time we turn the page just wasn't performant enough. And enter, you know, proprietary app store, which is great for, for, for some, but not for the web, right? And security is, of course, a little bit of a, uh, well, uh, how can I put it politely? There's some issues around that, right? I mean, we're looking today at a half time around 11 days, meaning like if you take a normal light, light CMS and with a few custom plugins and, and you leave it unprotected and it don't update the server or anything, it takes 11 days before there's a 50% chance of, 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 of simply becoming infected, right? And, and just a little more context, at Netlify, we get 100 million requests every month that alone starts with WP Admin. <laughs> Seriously, it's just malware knocking on our door saying, hey, if you happen to have a WordPress site that has been updated for a week or two, we'd love to infect it. You know, so it, 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 it is, a, you know, something really needed to be done, right? And, and scalability for agencies in the Western world when we started, we actually over provision hosting costs on average by 700%. And that's because traffic is not evenly divided. It comes in peaks. And of course, you have to cater for that, right? And you also have to cater for what if there's a big peak, right? And, and so um, when, you, when you look at it, um, uh, uh, what Jamstack is at heart, it's separating building from hosting. It's separating front end from back end. And what comes along with that is, is a huge boost for, uh, for performance, right? Because now you can have uh, multiple points of origin, right? You can, you can be directly in a network. And you don't have to build for every visitor, right? And, and performance is becoming more and more important. We, we see clients becoming more aware, starting to introduce performance budgets and so on, right? They simply understand what does this mean for conversion, and, and they're becoming depending, and they should be. Security, of course, there is no surface area of attack, right? So there's a gigantic difference there. And I also see that for agencies, and that's something that really appealed to me, is that, that there's the whole thing about not needing to worry so much about maintaining, especially things like campaign sites and so on, right? Because once you've separated the building from the hosting, you can leave it alone for 20 years. Yeah, it'll be fundamentally broken on your developer's computer, but what's live is still there. And that means the world, right? I mean, so often you have something and, oh, did we also patch that one staging environment and so on, right? So these workflows just became infinitely more um, uh, productive and efficient, right? And, and so um, what we saw was, was basically it was able to do this by wrapping around the megatrends of the web, right? On one hand, we have front -end, uh, uh, you know, a front-end revolution where, I mean, I'm, I've been in lo around long enough to remember when I had front-end developers that literally just caught up Photoshop files, right? Turn them into HTML, those that. You're all using advanced markup now, right? I mean, you are leveraging frameworks and tools that, um, that in turn, together with Git, leverages browsers that are going to bring document viewers to full-fledged operating system that in turn uh, utilizes an API economy. And, and the giant, joint result is, is that you're able to, to treat the web a little more like we, we did with mobile apps, where no one thinks you should be downloading your Lyft app every time you use it, right? 
And so, so this idea of being able to decouple things and pre, pre-build them uh, has, has, has just opened up so many doors, right? And, and so we made an early bet on that on Netlify. And, and now it's, it's fantastic because we're exper- experimenting this, this incredible movement. And, and we're in the middle of it, and it's fun, right? But it's not why I'm standing here today, right? Um, because it's not just about web tech development. No, these new categories also means that budgets are changing, they're moving around, buyer personas are being redefined, right? And the front-end economy is absolutely booming. So, so what does that mean for agencies? Well, it's my very, very deep felt belief, and I will argue that from here on until the end of everything, that agencies can tremendously benefit from adopting the Jamstack. And so much so, I made it my life mission now to, to build our workflows that enable agencies and companies to really tap into these benefits uh, for ever more use cases, every day that grows. If you go and look at the 16 sponsors out there, everyone has, is building and making this more viable as, 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 as we go on, right? And so th- in this conference, we've been talking about how we deliver projects faster and how we help companies reach customers in new ways and, and, and how we can become more uh, competitive, right? And at Netlify, we have an agency program. And it's something that's, for me personally, is extremely close to heart, right? And we have more and more agencies working with us, and you're going to be hearing from some of them, and, and, and a lot of them are in this room. And, um, and together, we work to promote the Jamstack. You know, for us, you see, it's, it's about working really closely with agencies. And, 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 and the gist of it is about accelerating what we see is the real actual revolution behind the Jamstack, right? It's not just about going static or serverless or API first or whatever you want to call it, right? It's about providing viable workflows, right? It's about enabling joint solutions that allows for the transition to the Jamstack. You can't just say, well, these are the tool sets, this will work together, good luck, right? There is so much education that has to be done, right? There's so much embracing, there's so much understanding how these companies also have to start thinking about it differently, how they have to cater it, how they have to maintain things, right? And so that's what our agency program is about. It's about education, joint case studies, collaterals, certifications, tooling, features, services. In these early stages, it's about staying very close to each other, understanding your feedback and leveraging that in, in how we build out the services and how we look at the roadmap, right? So, so again, we are so excited to see the momentum for this conference. Uh, I'm so excited to stand here in front of you. This is, this is really a dream come true. And, 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 um, and, and, and most of all, just because there's so much potential to tap into. And I can't be more excited about what's to come. And with that, I'd like to pass the mic back uh, to uh, a man that will fly in the face of danger, Mr. Hope Felsworth.